God bestows the ability to see the unseen on those who have gratitude. Didn't I hear and love that? God bestows the ability to see the unseen on those who have gratitude. When we have gratitude, we are able to see the unseen. The more thankful we are, the more good things there are to be seen. Uh -huh. The more thankful we are, the more good people there are to be seen and celebrated. The more thankful we are, the more good places there are to be seen and enjoyed. The more thankful we are, the more good times there are to be celebrated and to be seen. The more thankful we are, the more good seasons there are to be lived and relieved and enjoyed. We can be thankful for all situations because we can see the good and fight the good. This is why we are called every day to start our day with a word of thank you. When you wake up, say thank you to God. Even when you wake up feeling bad, even when you wake up on bad news, there are those days that you wake up on bad news. There are those days that you wake up on what you would not have wanted to happen in your lifetime. And you know life is unfair at times. What you dreaded that you would never want to happen, somehow it does happen in some cases. Then the question is, what happens when what we fear the most happens in our lives and in our times. If we are used to embrace the gratitude attitude, there is nothing, nothing at all that will make us to bow down to misery, to bow down to wretchedness, to bow down to brokenness, to bow down to death-like situations. There are four objects of thanksgiving. These four objects of thanksgiving are only a partial listing of the blessings that God gives us in Christ. And we have heard this clearly in the second reading. But these four do give us a wonderful illustration of what God has done in the person of his son, our Lord Jesus Christ, to all of us who possess him as our Savior and Lord. Through Christ, the reason why we are saying that we will open every day with a thanksgiving, it is because, number one, through Christ, the Father has qualified us to share in the inheritance of the saints in light. Number two, through Christ, the Father has delivered us from the domain of darkness. We are no longer the children of darkness, but the children of light. Number three, through Christ, the Father has transferred us into the kingdom of his Son. And number four, through Christ, the Father has redeemed us, providing the forgiveness of sins. This is what he has done. So we have no reason not to wake up with a song of thanksgiving. We have no reason for not to wake up and say a prayer of thanksgiving, even next to the corpse, even next to that dead body. Even in the presence of a noful smearing situation. Even in the presence of surrounded by the invaders, intruders who will eventually kill us. We will refuse to see the enemy and we see the angels of protection. 
We will refuse to see death and see resurrection. We will refuse to see misery and see the glory of God. However, we must also be aware that there could be blocks that may make us not to say thank you. Allow me to share with you some gratitude roadblocks. Gratitude roadblocks. The reason why maybe some of you listening to me tonight have not been saying thank you. The reasons why some of you have not transformed your life into a song of thanksgiving. The reason why some of you are still in the house of death, surrounded by dead bodies, and seeing death, and smearing death, and hopelessness. 